walk every day and you sort of say, well, how are we going to get through this? He was a normal, happy, outgoing little boy. For Bob and Dan Wyborn, that normal little boy is now but a memory. For each day that passes, nine-year-old Brendan falls a little sicker to a condition called adrenoleukodystrophy, or ALD. It's a rare genetic illness that afflicts only males, attacking the brain and robbing the sufferer very quickly of his movement, his speech, his thoughts, of his ability to do anything for himself. Open up. Okay. What a good boy. To me, Ben is just a like a, a toddler again. And within months, yeah. ALD will rob the Wyborns of their son and brother. Oh, what a good boy. One day at a time, and every day, unfortunately, you see slight, you know, he gets it slightly worse. 18 months ago, Brendan was suddenly having trouble coping at school. Initially thinking it may have been attention deficit disorder, Bob and Dan were finally given the correct, heartbreaking diagnosis just weeks before last Christmas. Well, I was devastated yeah. because it's a genetic disorder and I've passed it on to him, unbeknownst to me. It was... Um... ALD is unknown to most people, only briefly brought into the public eye by the film Lorenzo's Oil. The problem is that 10 years ago, this disease hadn't even been identified. We're still trying to understand just what it is. But where the film family find hope and prolonged life for their son in a concoction of oils, the Wyborns expect no such ending for Brendan. Lorenzo's oil, they say, can only have a chance of halting ALD if it's detected very early. He's so advanced that there is nothing we can do other than give him quality against quantity. You know, I'm a cricket player. To Brendan, quality is just another word for cricket. And the highest quality is personified by the man on his wall. His hero, Shane Warne. So do you think Shane Warne would have a lot of these? Yep. Why? A billion. A billion? Brendan, why don't we set the wickets up here? While paralysis is creeping up his right side, Brendan tenaciously continues to roll his wrist. Yeah, big, big Shane Warne's next to him. That's it. You know how he does. That's it. He used to dream of playing for Australia. These days, Brendan and his family just dream of meeting Warren. We know what it would mean. It would, it would be the ultimate. How are you? Good. And Brendan? Hi, Brendan. Yeah. And we were uh, a little just bit... got a good technique there, Brendan. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm out all right, mate. Yep. Yeah. Do you know who this is, Brendan? You know? Who's this? Oh, that's that's right. a boy. That's excellent. Let me tell you, you're honoured. There's not too many people yeah. who remember. Yeah. <laughs> and to bolster yeah, the memories, so. hats and bats assigned, <laughs> photos taken, the moment cherished. Really a highlight. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It'll be a memory that'll stay with us forever. Yep. Say yep. yes. Yes. <laughs> that's the way. Just telling me. What did you think of that? Was that a nice meeting, Shane? Yeah, that's cool. Cool, wasn't cool. it? Cool. Even cooler, Brendan stays to watch Shane and the Australian team take on South Africa. No! That was close. <laughs> Although the Wyborns have shared Brendan's dream here, their nightmare goes on. Not only in watching a brother and son slip away, but also financially. Ferran and Bob would give anything to save their boy. But the cost of caring for him means that they could lose everything. Their house, their car, the lot. It is something that will happen unless we find a way to overcome that. Anne has given up work to care full time for Brendan, putting a further strain on their small business. But even so, they're ineligible for a federal government carer payment because he's not over 16. Where do we go? We're just in a catch We're just in a catch situation. Can't really. win. So the family is clinging on, but mostly to every moment they can have before ALD takes their boy, who loves to bowl. It's, it's every day we can get now till then.